Hi guys, welcome! In this video, I'll guide you through 32 relatively easy tales in Dragon Raja. Tales are one of the interesting features of the game that we can do aside from leveling up and weekly challenges. Completing tales give anecdote points which give rewards at certain milestones. These points are also required to unlock some of the EX skills which makes them worthwhile to pursue. One of the easiest ways to collect anecdote points is through taking pictures at certain landmarks. Just go to your map and look for the pink camera icon in various locations. Another way is through completing tales. There are three levels for this, bronze, silver, and gold, with bronze being the easiest and gold being the relatively hardest to complete. In this video, we'll start with 30 bronze tales and a few bonus silver tales. Of course, this is not a finite list and there might be more undiscovered or added in the game. I'll keep you guys updated once I discover more. We'll be going through the tales by location so it will be easier to follow. I'll also have timestamps down below for easier navigation. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Let's start our journey in the principal's office. Sit in Angie's chair and choose Look Around. A communication will appear talking about the principal's expenses in antiques. Just read through it and answer the question to achieve the anecdote leader's query. Next, sit in Angie's chair again but this time choose Enter Command. Then type No Glues to unlock the reticent bronze tail. Next, another command we could type in is Show Me the Flower to unlock Blossom's Rain. Okay, here's another command we can use. But before that, we need to have the RIP post-it note which can be obtained from binding your account with an email address. Once you have it in your inventory, just sit in Angie's chair once more and input Show Me the Money to achieve the Money Maker anecdote. Next, still in the principal's office, let's move over to this globe. Spin it around until you trigger the tail. Note that you can only have 3 attempts per day to spin this. Once you have triggered it, go talk to Anju, then to Manstein. Choose the option Have Finger Hack into the System. Then go find Schneider outside the library by clicking the quest at the upper right corner. Talking to Schneider will complete the strange marked tale. Okay, now that we're outside the library, let's go inside for the next tale. Interact with the telescope until you trigger the tale. Again, you only have 3 attempts per day. Once you trigger it, choose the second option, it's broken, report it to the manager. Then talk to the NPC Vinya nearby. Then you will have a quest prompt asking you to go outside and talk to the NPC Vanders. Answering his query will complete this tale. Alright, now let's explore the tales in Castle College. First up, pick up some of the scattered files on the ground. This can be any of the files littered all over the college. Again, you'll have free attempts at this daily. Once you pick up the file with the top secret mark, just choose Read the Document to complete the scattered file tale. Now aside from picking up scattered files, we could also pick up garbage from the ground. You know you have triggered the tail once you get a call from Gregory. Go talk to Gregory then answer his questions. Here are the answers. For the first question, pearls are wet, cups are dry. Second question, dry trash, trash that has dried. Third question, harmful trash. Fourth question, recyclable trash. Fifth question, wet trash. Sixth question, dry trash. And for the last question, fingers, old snotty tissues. After answering correctly, we've now finished the waste separation bronze tail. Next, go to any vending machine and buy the mystery drink. It may take a few tries to unlock the tail, so just keep on buying it. Once you unlock it, choose the option Have Finger Take a Look at It to finish the mystery drink anecdote. Next, find one of these roaming vending machines and try to buy a drink from it. Again, you have three attempts to unlock this next anecdote. When you trigger it, choose either Report to Ava or Repair the Vending Machine. Either of these options will complete a tale. 
Related to the vending machines, try to get a drink from it every time you see it, up to 3 drinks per day until you get your hands on the Lover's Tears drink. This is quite rare so you might have to be patient with this. Once you have it, go to Hydra's and find this NPC named Seto Matsushima. He'll buy your drink in exchange for gold and you'll be able to unlock the walking machine tail. It is actually a silver tail but I included this here since it's very easy to complete once you get the drink. Up next, go find Tia located near the basketball court. Make sure Pablo is beside her to trigger this tale. Pay Tia to sing some songs. You may do this repeatedly before we could trigger the tale. You'll know you've activated the tale once two NPCs approach the area. Just wait for them to walk off to finish the college's voice tale. Okay, now that we are near the basketball court, go there and talk to this NPC, Tatsuhiko. Just remember that he's not there if it's raining. The best time to look for him is when it's a sunny afternoon or evening. Accept the basketball challenge and successfully shoot only 7 out of 10 shots to unlock the number 7 pitcher anecdote. Others are saying that they unlocked this at various number of shots or they weren't able to unlock at 7 shots. So this might be random and luck may be involved. On another occasion, you can aim for 10 shots since this will unlock another anecdote the basketball team silver tail. This is a silver tail but I included this in this list since we're already talking about basketball. You'll also get this outfit once you unlock this. This is how it looks like for the male character. And this is how it looks like for the Lolita character. Next across the basketball court, you'll find the claw machines. If you have claw machine coins with you, you may give this a shot. As a tip, aim for the ones facing towards you and located at the front since this will give us a clearer view on how to position the claw. Getting Chisei Jen would unlock the final blessing anecdote. Related to that, if we get Chimei Jen in the claw machine, you'll unlock the multifacial anecdote. Next, we have a weather-dependent tale. Wait for a thunderstorm in Castle College. You may check the weather report by opening the map. Then stand here near Anju's statue and wait to get struck by lightning. Be patient since you have to get struck multiple times to complete the tale. Next is a really tricky one. Go to this specific bench and wait for the athlete to come and start a dialogue with you. The time should be at 12 midnight to 2 a.m. at night and on a sunny weather. You can check the time and weather in your map. You have to patiently wait until an athlete NPC comes and starts a dialogue with you. When he asks you to leave, just choose the option, there's plenty of vacant seats. Others who have finished this say that it's also possible at 12 noon to 2 o'clock on a sunny afternoon. This one took me a while and a lot of attempts to finish. It requires luck since I think this is random and doesn't automatically trigger even if you meet the conditions, so you have to be patient and keep on trying. Up next, we have sanitation mode. Go pick up any trash and interact with any trash can nearby. If you're lucky, an NPC will communicate with you and you can just easily follow the quest. I'm not able to capture a clip of the NPC but be patient for this one as it is random and can only attempt this 3 times per day. Alright, up next, let's head on to one of my favorite cities, Tokyo. Find a busy street with lots of moving cars, then stand on front of one of them to cause a traffic jam. Just stand there for a short while until an NPC appears. Reply with, why would I do what you said? Then choose to stay, and then you'll complete the Roadbuster anecdote. For this next one, make sure you have some pure water from the vending machine first so we don't have to go back and forth. Alright, go to this location and repeatedly interact with the trash can until a hungry dog appears. You can give any of these options if you have them but the easiest option would be the pure water from the vending machine. Giving the dog any of the food or water would achieve the eco-friendly anecdote. Alright, right next to the area of the dog are these NPCs. Talk to Igarashi. To trigger the tail, you need to answer the first option. I won't allow you to bully the weak ones. 
However, you would need at least 20 justice points for this. If you can't do this yet, just go back to this later if you happen to increase your justice trait. Once you choose the option, just defeat the thugs and talk to Igarashi to complete the tale. Up next, we'll be doing the graffiti tale. There are multiple locations for this, but I went to this one. Just choose your vision to view the graffiti and trigger the tale. Then talk to the nearby NPC to finish the tale. Last for Tokyo, we have another tricky one which is called Era of Idols. It's just tricky in the sense that triggering the quest again is by chance. You may choose among these three payphone locations. For me, I triggered the quest in this location. Use the payphone multiple times until a mysterious man answers your call. For his first question, answer freely, the response won't matter. Then for the next question, answer that you want to be an idol. Then choose the option, go and have a look. You will then be transferred to a mysterious room. Talk to the mysterious man and reject his offer. Eliminate the thugs. Then choose the option, call the police. Once the operator answers, choose Osawa Agency Wire Fraud to complete the Era of Idols tale. Up next, let's travel to Siberia Harbor which was the first map we were introduced to when we started the game. Go back to the orphanage house and interact with the guitar. Let the music play and you'll get a communication once the tale is triggered. You may have to do this multiple times before the tale is triggered. Then a communication will appear from any of the main characters of the story. Just listen and you'll finish the Rhythm Master tale. Then for the next tale, go to the bed stand and read the note that says, I love you 3000. Then go outside to the edge of the cliff and talk to Morgan. Just listen to her and you'll finish the love you 3000 tale. Alright, next still in Siberia Harbor, go back to the home and interact with the bed. You can try to trigger this for 3 times and if it doesn't trigger, you'd have to try the next day. Just finish the conversation with Z and you'll achieve a dream lover anecdote. Up next, let's do a few easy ones in various locations. First, go to Tsukuyomi Prison then find the pond and interact with a yellow rubber ducky. Afterwards, go to the nearby house and search for the diary underneath the table. This is supposedly Aerie's diary and you can unlock it by using the number code 214. After reading, this will finish the diary anecdote. Next, head up to the icy layer and interact with this computer. Choose the option, look around. Then a quest will appear at the upper right asking you to deliver the report to this NPC in Castle College, which will then achieve the lost report anecdote. Up next, go to the Hot Spring Resort and interact with this book on the floor. You may have to do it multiple times until you trigger the tale. For the first question asking if you'll tell someone if you like him or her, answer no. Then when asked what if they're gonna get married, answer send my blessing. You will then get a call from Luminous asking him to meet you in Chizuru. Go to this location in Chizuru and give him either the oolong tea ice cola, or orange juice. You can easily buy the cola and orange juice from the vending machine. Then once you give the drink, you'll finish the eternal ally tale. Up next, we have the line. I observed that this usually triggers when in Hydras. While at Hydras, you'll randomly receive a communication from a young girl asking you to pay for your fees. Answer really, you're not hired to fool me. To finish the anecdote. If you've been to the Hydras before, you might have already finished this. And lastly, we have the educated party goer. If there's an ongoing bond party, register to attend, then look for the books in these locations. Just interact with them repeatedly until you luckily achieve the educated party goer tale. Alright, and there we have it a complete run through of all the bronze tales, plus a few easy silver ones. Again, this is not a finite list and there might be more undiscovered or added as the game receives more updates. If you discovered new ones, leave a comment down below to help your fellow players out. 
In my next video for Dragon Raja, I'll be doing some of the silver tails. Alright, that's it for this video guys, don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.